Now, is there a, a trick or a tip on how to use that podcast to actually get leads and get people to sign up for your list and maybe even yeah. work with you? Yeah, and then here's here's the tale of two podcasts. Before our current <laughs> podcast, we had um, we did a podcast on Blog Talk Radio for a year. Apparently, a thousand people were listening every time. We got no leads. We heard nothing, and it was me and my co-host who has this awesome British accent talking, right? Which was beautiful. I like talking to him. I love listening to his voice. It's great, but it we never made any asks. Right. We never asked people to come back and sign up for anything. We mm. never even intimated that there was a way to work with us. There was nothing to do, nothing to get. So you didn't have a call to action? Not at all. <laughs> yep. And, and that's the key is that, you know, every single podcast has to have a little bit of a call to action, even if it's as simple as you want more of these episodes, come to our homepage. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Put your opt-in in and get all these other episodes. Join our list. Yay. Awesome. You know, and most people don't do that. Most people just do their podcasts and they don't have a call to action and there's no place for anyone to go and nothing for them to do. And there well. you go. <laughs> yeah. And so, so that's, that's, and then the other thing we did that was actually really helpful is when people, new speakers sign up with us. We have an automated system that puts them on our mailing list. But as as part of that, they get a couple emails from us about us. Okay. This is who we are. This is what we do. Join our, you know, friend us on Facebook. You know, connect with us. And people make those connections. And people sometimes circle back and say, hey, can you help us with our podcast? So that's Perfect. one of the things my business partner does. Or can you help me with my escape plan? Exactly. Or, you know, and so it's just adding those little touches to kind of get people back through and and use your guests yeah, because you're developing a relationship with them. Exactly. And, and even if you're only, you know, so let's say you're biweekly, that's still 25 people yeah. that you're having a conversation with that you wouldn't have a conversation with otherwise. And usually those pre-conversations lead to post-conversations. Well, okay, so Carmen, what really do you do? Exactly. How really can I help you? And so you can develop partnerships and JVs and things like that, which are also going to grow your list. I wouldn't say that podcasting is, number one, a lead generating thing. I think the networking is much, much more important and yeah. the content generation. But our list has doubled. So something is working. Something is working. Equation. Awesome. Yeah. So, well, we're running out of time here. If someone wanted to learn more about you, maybe find out about the podcast or, or have you help them with their podcast, what would they do? Um, you just go to paychecktopassion.com awesome. and sign up for our email list and you'll get that same little um, introductory sequence that we send to everybody that will tell you more about what we do and how we can help you and all of that. And I'm looking forward to meeting some of your listeners. So that would be awesome. I hope that happens. So thank you so much for being my guest today on the cat podcast. Oh, well, thank you. Awesome. It was fun. Awesome. This is the end of the cat podcast. This is your host, Karma Spence, the owner, awesome in business and life coach. And of course, as Meredith suggested, if you'd like more of these podcasts, please visit my website at karmaspence.com and sign up for my list because I do post them to my list. And also if you, would like to have a curious conversation with Karma, just like I mentioned in the break, in the commercial, just go over to karmaspence.com forward slash free session.